Okay, to do, to do everything what I call the mayor and the fortune teller, and start with the song. All the gods, they are the works of men. You are the most I go. There is none like you. Yeah, I want to start with the word of knowledge, May 28, 2024. You must really work on rooting out corruption in Africa and also in the media, because the media can also be very problematic from a corruption point of view. Um, yeah, but I don't know whether you read this story of the mayor of a town in in, in France, Agdi. The mayor is a former secret service officer and a police officer. Yeah. And the fortune teller is Sophia Martinez. And he goes to see her so that he can connect with his late father. And that one, of course, you know how these guys do their things, you know. The late father begins to speak to him. You know, and then he's so convinced that she begins to tell him, make demands, and he began to use public funds to fund a lifestyle, a luxury lifestyle, until the scandal broke. But there's also something very close to this in scripture. First Samuel chapter 28, verse 11, you know, uh, Saul goes up to a fortune teller also, whom shall I bring up for you? The woman asked, bring up Samuel, he replied. But when the woman saw Samuel, she cried out in a loud voice and said to Saul, why have you deceived me? Now, this is a very interesting story because it's very similar to what happened in uh, France. Now, the woman, of course, they have a lot of trickery. The fortune tellers, they're going to get the demon to camouflage as, you know, uh, Samuel. Well, in this instance, God's power, you know, came into play and Samuel actually showed up. That's why the woman was shocked, you know. So those of you that are still approaching all these lesser powers, you know, fortune tellers to tell you your fortune or to bring up dead people, you're just looking for trouble. God is still the ultimate power, just like we sung, you know, uh, just like we were singing at the very beginning, you know, and that is the person that we really need to look up to. The devil has his own power, but the powers are limited. Like in this instance, she was going to use, you know, a trickery to deceive Saul, but someone actually showed up, which shows, you know, the power of God. And of course, Saul was able to get his judgment. So what you want to do is, you know, all this sophistication that we put up is just a lie. You know, when it becomes crunch time, people are looking for spiritual help because they know this is where this is the way to go. Some matters will just be, need to be solved spiritually. Anytime you run into, uh, you know, you are at the deep end, just call up, to, call on to God. You know, God will always come and see you through. Uh, don't get, don't let yourself be deceived by all these people that claim to have all kinds of powers. All of them are liars, and their devilish powers that will not get you anywhere.